Welcome back to plain text on number 13. In this one, first I'm going to merge all the code changes from the last one, and then I'm going to start parsing YAML and maybe building a GUI. Let's see if we can do it. If you're new here, this is Page Key Tech, where we build things, document them, talk about them, and take back tech. Okay, we can merge this guy in, confirm. Okay, branch, new branch, Tari Basic GUI. Let's see what we can do. First things first, let's get rid of all this extra stuff and just keep the open project button. Okay, I deleted basically everything except for the open project code and index, deleted the st some styles and some JavaScript that weren't applicable anymore either. And we're left with just the uh, very nice basic style that they gave us. And that's it. Okay, looks like we can actually change the window size. It's a little big, so what if we cut the height in half and the width in half, what would it look like? That's a little too small. Let's go ahead and keep it 600. Perfect. Okay, great. Okay, so huge shout out to Yuki Reflesia or Reflesia. Um, did a lot of work to parse the files already in Rust using SERD YAML, which is fantastic. This is definitely beyond the level of Rust that I yet understand, but um, I might reference this pretty heavily. I know she's not done yet, but Maybe there's a way that I can merge this in somehow, piece by piece, as I try to understand it um, as we go here. I don't know. But yeah, this is pretty cool stuff, really. Okay, so I, I finally got this to work where it starts in the current directory that you launched from, and it filters on YML or YAML, YAML files, basically. And I was trying to do it like this with a star.yaml, star.yaml. That wasn't working. I had to do a little research, and I found out that the Tari stuff is based on NFD, which is native file dialog. So I went into that package and I found that they had a little example right here where they're saying to filter on JPEG, but there's no dot, there's no star. They just list the file types. Um, other than that, it was really hard to find an example that actually showed what that file filter looks like, but thankfully I finally found it and we're back to being able to select files and it's a lot nicer. So let's see if we can uh, keep going here. Now, parsing aside, I would love for it to open a new window after this one, like close this window and open the next one. Now, that might be a little complicated. I think we could probably clear this out using JavaScript and put something else up. But in the long run, I think that's going to get cluttered if we have a bunch of different screens and we're keeping it all in one window. So let me see if I can figure out how to add a new window. Okay, so pretty easily I was able to create a second window. I just did that in tari.conf.json. Literally copied this guy and I got an error um, that there were there was a duplicate label. I guess by default it's called main. So they were both called main. I gave them each their own label. But this isn't really what we want. We don't want two windows to open. We want one to open and the other. We want this guy to close and this one to open. So I started with the easy way, the static window. Now let me read about runtime window and how I can on the fly create a new window. Okay, check this out. This is really cool. I found two ways of doing basically the same thing. The first one, first of all, I added index2.html here. It's just right next to index, just so we can see some kind of change. Then in the JavaScript, when we invoke the Rust function, it awaits it, right? It's async, so when it gets back, then we can change the window location href to index2, and it'll load index2. So you'll see that here, where this window changes to index2. We're essentially reusing this window via JavaScript, we're just changing over to the different template or, or whatever you want to call it. The second way is through Rust, and seems like the easiest way is to, you can just add app handle to your Tari command function. So we add a handle here, and then you can use that handle down here to create a new window. So you just say window new, I give it a label of editor, and you pass which HTML file that you would like to use, and then you're good to go. So let's see this in action. Open project, open a YAML. We get tau window, but our original window also redirected. So this was the JavaScript redirect. That's what that looks like. And then here's our brand new window, which I think I prefer this route because we can just start completely fresh here and have full control. And it just looks better uh, to have a small open project window and then a big editor window. So I just need to figure out how to change this label and then we can go with this method. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It turns out your window builder if you call dot title before you call dot build, you're good to go. You set the title. So I just made a slight change. I took the render song code that calls plain text uh, Python side and put it in its own function. And actually, I'm going to remove that here along with some of these prints 
and have it just launch the window, just do exactly what we need to do. And I'll get rid of this print. I don't think we really need it. The errors, we can keep those prints. But, uh, yep. Now, how do we store state? Because that's going to be very important. Basically, if we can store state somewhere within this Rust app, then we just need to hook in Tari commands to modify the state or to use that state to do something like render. So if we can open this project and then in that new window display the path that the user selected, like this path right here, then we could have, also we could have a button that says render and it could take that path and render it out. But we need some way of storing it and I don't know what that would be in Rust. I'm a little uh, rusty on it. Not that I ever knew it to begin with. So. How do we do that? I don't know, but we did get a new window. I might call it a video. Yeah, because this is getting long. So we'll do it on the next one. But thanks for, uh, thank you for tuning in and watching some plain text. All. I'll see you for the next one.